Okay, let's create our Python's virtual environment. Now I'm in this project, Flask root. You can be in any project that you are, any Python project or any kind of project, you can create virtual environment anywhere. But the good practice or the standard practice is to create virtual environment in the root of your project directory. Now I have this project Flask Crude where I teach you how to create APIs for creating, reading, updating and deleting files or text in database. You can check that out with the link in the description. And for now, let's create a virtual environment. So first of all, let me just close this. You need to open command prompt or git bash or PowerShell window in your project directory in this. Or you can open it anywhere and then cd into this directory. But I'll show you the easy one. The easy method that is you just hold shift and then right click and then you will see oh, so many options here. So you can open git bash, it will work with git bash also or you can open PowerShell window or you can just open normal command prompt. So uh, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing command prompt so I'll click open PowerShell window here. So now let's check what Python we have. Python version we have. So I have Python 3.10.0 installed. Uh, this will work on any Python 3 version. Now, if you don't see the result of this command, it shows command not found or something else. That means that uh, Python is not installed or Python is not added to your path. You can check the video somewhere in the cards here or in the description or in the first pinned comment and you will see how you can install Python and then add Python to your path variable so that this command will work. Okay, after you have made it work, let's see how we can create a virtual environment. Now, Python 3 auto automatically or by default shift ships with a module called venv now uh, since i am in this project folder itself as you can see it shows d python flask code and this is where i want to create my virtual environment right so once you have typed python mvenv you type the virtual environment name that you want to create so i'll just say my venv and hit enter and as you can see this is being created but and right here my venv is already created and it's still doing some operations okay now our virtual environment is created but creating it is not enough we need to use it we need to use it for our project so how do you activate this virtual environment you just go my venv and then scripts and then activate and then it's showing something some kind of an error or you can go source source is not recognized uh, okay, why is this not working? Or you can try work on. Okay, why is this not working? So it's showing some kind of unauthorized access or whatever. So there are different things. Uh, let me show you some another method on how to do that. Okay, so let's just close this. And what you can do is if you have this installed, you can do this. If you have git bash installed, you can just go source my venv scripts activate. And as you can see now, it shows my venv and my venv is activated. But if you don't have git bash, what you can do is you can go to command prompt and you can run this as administrator and then go to your project directory. your project directory and here you can go to maybe env scripts and then you can select activate and now as you can see my venv is activated so that's that's how you do this and if you run python files here this will be this will be ran using this virtual environment the packages that are installed in this virtual environment right now it's saying showing no module named flask install so what you can do is you can just pip install flask and this will be installed in this virtual environment okay so you run this <clears throat> and now flask is installed so if you can again try to run this and as you can see, it is working now. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below.